Now they're in my favorite city home here. Um, broke today on a pulling lawnmower. It has an Intec 19.5 uh, gross horsepower motor. A uh, fellow brought it to me said, uh, won't start. So uh, I'm going to show you real quick uh, how to diagnose a bad valve uh, adjustments. Valve, yeah. I guess that's how you said it. Anyways, so when you hit the key, see how it does that? Okay, so real quick, we'll go in here. We're going to take this spark plug out of here. Now, I've already diagnosed that, and that's why this thing's in here only hand tight. Uh, I put the spark plug back in just to show you, illustrate to you the point of um, exactly what the issue is. Now, spark plug's out. Hit the key. Okay, so, if you have that, if you have the lawnmower, you're hitting the key, it'll turn and it just feels, it's like trying to crush everything. Um then the problem is valves valves are out of out of clearance um if the exhaust that's in the cylinder the cylinder is trying to push the air the piston is trying to push the air out of the cylinder and there's all this air in there it's got to crush 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 because the exhaust valve won't open and let the air out so it can't turn freely so when you take the spark plug out now it has a, a easier way for the air to move out of the cylinder so it'll free spin that's how you uh that's how you diagnose bad valves in a rotten lawnmower so we're gonna put together a video on how to set these clearances on these valves um on this intec it, the clearances are 0.003 to 0 0.005 we're going to set it at 0 0.004 right in the middle and uh that should not be all that difficult let me get a couple things done and we'll take a look at it all right okay so we took the uh valve cover off of the motor here um, and so now we're looking at the the actual valves the we're gonna have to adjust okay uh, exhaust valve on the bottom intake valve on top um, the way you manipulate these is you're gonna turn the motor now see how the intake is moving what you want to do is get that intake just to the point by by moving this with your hand back and forth that's what you're doing you're reaching up here and you're moving the top of the motor and you want to look and see when you get to that point where just where it's there it's <clears throat> it that's considered top dead center for this motor so here see how there's all this play there should not be nearly that amount of play in this motor um so we're going to adjust this motor. That is terrible amount of play. All right. Okay, so I actually had to go in and, uh, and check the uh, clearances on this thing. Um, I'm simply amazed. Anyways, <clears throat> so we have this one at top dead center. We talked about that. The, the entire feeler gauge pack fits in this gap. Is there any wonder why this motor won't start? Um, in reference to that, this is what it should be. And this is what it is. It should have that much of a gap in here at this point, and that's what it truly is. So we're going to reset this. This there. Anyway. Place I can put this camera so you guys can see this. Anyways, all right. So there's a uh, there's a T20 uh, Torx in there. I'm supposed to loosen that up. Where's my 5 8 wrench? Right now. Five eight wrench. So this thing's so bad the T20 spinning inside the 5 8 God, nice. That's terrible. The this T20 is supposed to actually lock this thing down. It isn't locking down nothing right now. So, we're going to go ahead and, and uh, get this thing good and loose. That 
it's just phenomenally, I mean, I'm, I'm a little bit astounded at exactly uh, how out of gauge that thing is. Alright, so we're going to back up on this one just a little bit. Now, see how you can, with the feeler gauge, 0 .004, we can fit it in there, and it'll fit, but it drags. But it'll fit, okay? That's the clearance you want. Once we have this 5 8 tightened down here to give us that clearance, check it again, nope. if you guys hear that or not but that's a little too much alright so now we have that we want to hold on to this keep that center from spinning stuff off around here. Alright, we're right, pretty close here. So, let me just verify that again. Alright. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's dragging. It's a good sign. So, uh, getting camera position. I don't have a camera tripod. So, getting camera position on this thing is not the easiest thing to do. So, you're going to hold with the 5 8 wrench. You're going to hold everything in place and then tighten down this securing bolt. And then check it. And we're going to call that one done. So, the next thing to do is again with your hand, spin the motor till the bottom one is fully compressed. I think that's about good. Let's check this. We can tighten that up just a teeny bit. Anyway, same process, guys. Um, gonna do that. Throw the cover back on. Put the spark plug back in. Fire it up. I'll show you that here. So. Alright. So there might be a little noise in the background. The, uh, I'm using my truck to dump this thing off. And the uh, bearings in the alternator make a little bit of noise. So, anyways, gas back on. Everything's buttoned up. carburetor horn so it stopped running like a junk right but valves that's what's going to keep your lawnmower from starting um, best way to test that is go ahead and take that uh, spark plug out and see if that motor turns over easily with the spark plug out anyways from my Tabor city home to you have a great day hopefully you guys can get this fixed see you.